preterm babies are pretty amazing, and so too is breast milk. It can be used for all sorts of reasons. But did you know that there's research underway to suggest that breast milk may improve the neurological outcome of preterm babies? When term babies are being fed at the breast, milk can often be seen refluxing from the back of the throat up into the nasopharynx. This allows human milk to be exposed to the soft mucosa of the back of the nose and the throat. When preterm babies are being fed, they lose this ability because we feed them through a tube that bypasses this part of the upper airway. Back in 2019, researchers in Germany sought to test their hypothesis that we might be missing out on something. They looked at a portion of 31 babies that were preterm and gave them drops of milk, as shown in this photo, into their nose every day. The theory here was that breast milk we know contains stem cells. Stem cells are cells that have not yet divided and can divide into virtually any cell in the body. So what if there was damage to the brain? Could such cells infiltrate the brain and repair that damage and create new brain cells free of damage? This was worth finding out. This is the paper that examined this and demonstrated a trend, not statistically significant as it was a small pilot study, but a trend toward less cystic disease in the brains of those children exposed to breast milk. The question you must be asking though is, how do you go from the nasal cavity to the brain? Well, that has to do with the ethmoid bone. This is a bone that is in your skull. Within the ethmoid bone is this structure called the cribiform plate. You can thank this perforated structure for your ability to smell. Scents in the nose are carried through those little holes in the bony plate that manage, that carry nerves that gradually get their way into the brain and allow you to perceive smell as those nerves that are exposed to those scents enter the brain. Using these same little holes, it is possible for stem cells in breast milk to migrate from the fluid across the mucosal membranes through those little holes and get to the brain. Or at least that's what the theory is. While we don't have the final conclusion on this, researchers in Canada, in Toronto, are further exploring this and have done another pilot study just back in 2024, demonstrating that nasal administration of human breast milk is safe. Now that they have demonstrated safety, the next step will be to do a larger randomized controlled trial to determine whether important outcomes, like short-term differences in bleeding within the brain, or cystic lesions within the brain are improved in the group that received breast milk. The most important studies though will be to see long-term whether such treatment with liquid gold makes a difference to long-term developmental outcomes. Stay tuned.